Hi, I'm Lo Bosworth, the founder and CEO of Love Wellness, and I am about to give Marie Claire a sneak peek into my library. Welcome to Shelf Portrait. So here we are in the little corner of my room, and I have maybe 40 books. I think there's a couple more in a different part of the house. My library, I mean, does anybody really have a library? We have a bookshelf, right? <laughs> but I have a lot of different types of books. I love fiction, nonfiction, all over the place. I'm a big reader. And especially lately, I've been trying to read at least two books a month, um, get off my phone, get off TikTok. One of my first favorites is this one. My Year of Rest and Relaxation is a very interesting book. It basically is the story um, of a woman who sort of sleeps for an entire year or more in her New York City apartment and has a friend come by and give her sustenance. But um, for anybody who has ever been depressed, has anxiety, uh, anything like that, this is a really interesting read. I feel like it really helps you get outside of yourself. It certainly has helped me. So this is one of my top five books for sure. This is less of a read and more of a guide, but this is Marie Kondo, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying. And this book, uh, I think I bought this copy actually in Thailand at the airport. I was on a vacation a couple years ago and I was going through, or about to go through, <laughs> a really bad breakup. And the life-changing magic of tidying actually saved me, truly. Um, clean house equals a clean mind. And I have been subscribing to this method of tidying up. Not exactly, but I would say 70%. I'm not very good at folding um, in the way that Marie Kondo suggests, but I have um, really become a minimalist because of this book and I absolutely love it and recommend it. It's an oldie, but a goodie. All right, next, Robert Greene. He's one of my favorite authors and this is the 33 Strategies of War. You might think I'm crazy for suggesting that you read this book, but if you wanna learn how to negotiate, how to hold your own, and how to interpret other people's behavior, whether it's in business, dating, friendship, like truly anything, this is the book for you. I absolutely love it, and any budding entrepreneurs out there should, should definitely give this a read. This is a book that I am reading right now, but I'm almost done and so I'm gonna give it a shout out. This is The Idiot and it is a really fun, funny, sort of coming of age story of a student at Harvard and um, sort of the mischief she gets into. <laughs> so I love it. It's a, a Pulitzer Prize finalist. It's definitely worth a read. For anyone into health and wellness, it's my own book. This is Love Yourself Well. It is available right now. I wrote this book to really tell my own health story about how I was dealing with vitamin deficiencies, gut health issues, vaginal health problems, and how I was able to get better. All three organs are connected and and if you take care of your gut, that means that your brain and vagina is gonna be happy too. And this book also includes an incredible five week plan to bring your body back to homeostasis if you've been dealing with anything like gut health issues, mental health issues, vaginal health issues, this is the book for you. It took almost two years to bring this book to life. Uh, I worked with medical professionals uh, at Love Wellness, spoke to a lot of doctors, worked with Janine Higby, who's a certified nutritionist to come up with our five week plan. Um, the book has a ton of evidence-based research in it also, so it required a lot of reading for before putting all the thoughts together on paper. So what is my favorite genre? I think it has to be nonfiction, anything that is science-related, which is probably why I love running my company and why I wrote a book that was very similar in that, in that genre. I love David Sedaris. His short stories are so incredible. And we used to do a lot of books on tape growing up uh, on long car trips with my family and David Sedaris, we would always give him a listen. Favorite childhood book. For me, it was more of a series. I loved anything that was Ramona Quimby. Remember Ramona and her sister Beatrice? And I think it's because I have a sister and we had a funny relationship like them. My favorite place to read, it's gotta be the bath. 
I take a tub every day and yeah, the bath is a great place to read. In New York City, there's a great bookstore called McNally Jackson um, in Soho and that is where I go to get most of my books. It's an incredible bookstore. If you ever come to New York, definitely visit McNally Jackson or The Strand. Thank you so much to Marie Claire's Shelf Portrait. Thanks for hanging out with me in my tiny little nook of a library. And don't forget to check out Love Yourself Well. It is available wherever books are sold. If you want the gut brain vaginal bliss you deserve. See ya.